Today's encouragement from the Word of God comes from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 4. And the Bible says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. I think it's obvious we're continuing here with our Sermon on the Mount. And I want you to understand that these words that, that Jesus writes that says to us uh, today has such a deep spiritual meaning. That word for mourn is an intense grief uh, that overcomes a person because they realize that they're in a situation where there is no escape. And when he is talking about that, he's talking about a spiritual condition. He's talking about standing before God, knowing that you are a sinner and that there is nothing you can do when you stand before a righteous and holy God. And you're mourning, what can I possibly do? It's what Isaiah said when he stood before God. He says, oh, woe is me, for I am an, a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the land of the unclean lips. It's that same thing that when Jesus was telling the parable about the Pharisee and the publican. And the Pharisee stood there and gave his his self-righteousness about how great he was and all the things that he did and for how great that everything he did was in the public and what did he do he was a far off in the corner and he fell on his face and all he could do was cry out have mercy upon me O God and which one of those did the Bible say went home comforted which one went home justified it was the public who when he mourned he was comforted if you will do that before God, if you will realize your sins, if you will realize there's nothing you can possibly do as you stand before a righteous and holy God, the promise is that you will be comforted. Give him your life today and receive the comfort that he gives. Pray for those around you. Pray for those affected by the coronavirus. Pray for those who are on the front lines fighting and serving and continue to pray that God will heal our land.